home and I fell in love with you, but I can tell you that I keep falling in love with you more and more each day. Wherever we go, whatever challenges we will face, and all the joy we will share, it will be at home, because home is wherever we are together. I love you now, and I love you always. Occasion. Ike and Diane, parents of the bride, and Bill and Mar Marilyn, parents of the groom, join together in celebrating this marriage of Tim and Sarah. If you agree to encourage and support them on this journey of life together as husband and wife, please respond by saying, We do. We do. 
<laughs> and now the parents can be seated and so can you. And I believe it speaks to your character, I believe it speaks to your integrity and your love for each other that it was so important to you to write your own vows and be vulnerable in front of all of us. We met for pho and my mind turned to mashed potatoes when I saw his smile. <laughs> Tim offered to help me build a computer and told me he shaves his leg for kinesio taping. <laughs> you know, normal stuff. <laughs> I can always tell when Tim has done a big Costco shopping trip because there are fresh flowers waiting for me in the kitchen when I get home. A few orbits around my life and he makes it better. From the day I met, met him, Tim has always been there for me. I know he will always be there for me. I invited him to visit my family in the Midwest. <clears throat> and just like everything else, Tim was there for me too. He used the porthole bathroom at the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> he helped dad fix the neighbor's jet ski. He got yelled at by Grandpa Clue at the euchre table. <laughs> it was like he was family. So Timothy Proby, I can't tell you the moment I fell in love with you, but I can tell you that I keep falling in love with you more and more each day. You are truly and unequivocally the best thing that has ever happened to me. These last five years have been the happiest of my life simply because you're in it. So today and every day, I vow to be there for you like you always have for me. Our life has become a shared experience. We are galactically interlocked in a covalent bond, the strongest of all. <laughs> Sarah Clue, you give me, <clears throat> you give me courage when I'm afraid, kind of like now. Um, <laughs> strength when I am weak, comfort when I am sad, direction when I am lost, resolve when I am discouraged, and the perseverance to keep improving myself. <clears throat> and most of all, you've helped me realize most of all, you've helped me realize home isn't a house, it's not an item, it's not a career. <clears throat> home is a place where you are loved. Home is where you share your <clears throat> home is where you share your life with someone. Home is a person, and I found <clears throat> home is a person, and I finally found my home with you. <sighs> Wherever we go, whatever challenges we will face and all the joy we will share, it will be at home because home is wherever we are together. I love you now and I love you always. The wedding ring is a circle of love never ending. So Jen, would you please give Tim the ring he has for Sarah? And Tim, repeat after me as you put the ring on her left hand. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. I have chosen you. I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. By the authority you have given me, the two of you have given me, and the state of Seattle, I now pronounce you husband and wife.
the perfect little brother. Now, most of my memories, my fondest memories, have one constant, and it's him. <laughs> the moment mom ruined. Memories staying up late <laughs> building Legos. <laughs> Uh, eating sourdough rolls and drinking cans of apple juice while playing Sega. <laughs> Memories of summer days playing street hockey and kick the can, and summer nights sitting in the driveway laughing with our friends until our parents forced us to come inside. Now, it turns out, perhaps it wasn't Tim who was the lucky one. It was me, the lucky big sister. <clears throat> now, a big sister's job is never done, and I know that with Sarah by his side, I shouldn't need to toss anyone through a fence anytime soon, or so I thought. <laughs> but I would like to offer you a few words of advice. A good swift whacked the head <laughs> with a Barbie doll occasionally will keep Tim in line. <laughs> and most importantly, if he tells you he loves you, he means it with every fiber of his being. And we see Tim, Tim Proby, and I'm thinking, God, Geez, that guy's handsome. <laughs> geez, that guy's tall. And then, geez, he plays golf better than anyone I know. And it's like, this, this, is, not, this is not what we're looking for here. <laughs> but then, then, it wasn't too long later, he comes in with his Star Wars Yoda backpack on. <laughs> I know, and I know he's a, a, an engineer. You know, and he's working, he's got his Blue Origins, you know, t-shirt on, his Blue Horizons t-shirt on. <laughs> and we knew, that oh, this is going to work out quite well. <laughs> Boom. Diane, you got anything to add? No, we do know. Okay, okay. We love you, guys. We love you. That's the message. We so love you both. We love you too. We're so proud yeah. of both of you. Yeah. And I will propose a toast. And that toast is... That when these has, hands are clasped, you will always, they will be clasped in friendship and understanding. And that your hearts will be intertwined and joined in love forever. A toast to Tim and Sarah. When I wrote this, I said, for those of you who don't know, I didn't realize it would become like a central theme of my, my presence here. But yeah, I've been living with Tim and Sarah for a while now. Um, and in that time, uh, I've had the opportunity to observe you guys in your natural habitat, and I would like to <laughs> present some of those findings to all of you. Uh, and what you guys share is, is truly a precious thing. Um, and that's my takeaway, uh, is that your love is sometimes gentle and sweet, other times loud, awkward, and struggles to form complete sentences. <laughs> Um, but no matter what form it takes, it's always beautiful and it is always uniquely yours. Um, Sarah, you are one of the kindest, warmest souls I've ever known, and it is a privilege to be your brother. Um, I love you so much, and I'm so happy that I've had this chance to be present in both of your lives. Um, yeah, I, I, I said words can't describe, and I didn't really finish the speech. <laughs> um, yeah, I, lo I love you guys a lot, and I, I'm really glad we're all here together. So. Thanks. Cheers. She has always been my shoulder to cry on through some of the most difficult moments of my life. I am so fortunate to have her in my life as one of my best friends. Sarah is the optimist to my cynic, always believing that people are acting with the best intentions and seeing the best in everyone. Tim. <laughs> as, some of, as some of you may know, Tim and I have a playfully contentious relationship. <laughs> in which mostly I make fun of him and he rather amicably takes it. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to say that I love and care for you very much and I could not ask for a more considerate and caring partner to my best friend and I'm so happy you two found each other. And so whether is weathering the tragedies in life, making the big decisions, or the little things that happen in between, like trimming the dog's nails, Here's to Tim and Sarah, who will love, help, and support each other through it all. But what is so profound, and I was going to do a much more elaborate piece on this, but I, I, the, 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 the toasts were so, they've brought this evening to its, its uh, crescent. They really have. And so I will, just, um, I will just wrap this up that's saying, 
we know one thing of, that brought Tim into Sarah's life. It is the acceptance of Ted. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can love that God-forsaken creature, <laughs> You can love anything for the rest of your life. To Sarah!